Hey guys. We're gonna go through a gentle hip opening practice together, about 20 minutes, just to refresh and open up our hips a little bit, shoulders, breath flowing. We're gonna hold each move for about a minute. Uh, if you need to adjust and find a better position, I'm gonna give you some options. We're just gonna start here on our knees. You might wanna get a couple of blocks if you need a yoga strap. We also want to recommend maybe a pillow or two for our last closing poses. So grab a pillow or two. If you need it, it is there for you. You're gonna start on your knees with your toes tucked under, all right, as such. Toes tucked under, spread your toes, and then sort of sit back on your heels, keeping your chest up. All right, so you're gonna feel the fascia in the back of your feet start to open up here. It's gonna get a little bit uncomfortable, but we're just holding it for one minute. Start to close your eyes and just settle into the ground. You're welcome to just stay like this and feel where the breath is moving down to your belly. And if you want to move your arms, you can inhale and reach your arms out to the side, breathing in. Bringing your hands together. Releasing them. Inhale, length. Find your own breath pattern. Our intention here for this mini session is just to unwind for the week, all those workouts that we did. Just releasing here, finding some stillness, tuning into our body. Take one more big breath in. We're going to find a child's pose. So come to the middle of your mat, untuck your toes. Bring your big toe mounds to touch each other. Widen your knees out just a bit wider than your hips. And start to sit back onto your heels, toes point back and in. Walk your hands out. Reach them long. You can rest your forehead on the mat or on a block. The knees can go wider so they can really breathe into your belly here. Think of the belly expanding on your inhale and pulling in gently on your exhale. With each exhale, release your jaw and settle deeper into the mat. Paying attention to a slight constriction in the back of the throat for that ujjayi breath. Slow down the exhale, pulling in air through your nose, the back of your throat. See if you can get heavier on the back of your hips. Do about three or four more breaths here. We're gonna come onto all four. Take one more big breath in. Let out all the air. When you're ready, flow up onto your hands and knees. Bring your knees right under the hips. Hands slightly in front of the shoulders. Now you're going to look for on your inhale. Let the tail lift. Look forward just with the chest, not with your neck. Find length here and then exhale. Push into your arms. Lift the belly. Drop the head and tail. Think of lifting the middle of your back up to the sky. The inhale flow from the tail, chest, lifting. Your best not to look dump into your low back. Just find your own rhythm. If you want to move from side to side here in this cat cow, reach your hip away from your shoulder and just rock your tail side to side. Just about three more breaths, nice and even. We're going to push back once for a nice downward dog. Take one more breath, spreading your fingers, tucking the toes under, coming into center. Spread your fingers, push into the palms, press into your feet, then lift your knees up off the floor. Just going to stay here for a little bit. Push back through your arms, let the head drop down. 
you need more space, step your arms forward or feet back, press back into your hips. Bend the knees as much as you need to to find length and a little bit of a crease in your hips. Exhale, drop your chest toward your thighs. Lift your tail. You can let the head kind of shake out tension. Draw your shoulder blades down your back towards your hips. Lengthen the neck and shoulders. We have a few more breaths here. If you want to lift up onto the heels a little, just point toes a little higher. If you want to pillow up those feet. We're going to be stepping this right foot forward in a moment. So take one more breath. We're going to take this right foot. You can lift it up behind you if you want. Or just step it forward between your hands. You might need to guide it forward. Drop your back knee down. If you want to double up your mat, you can double up the back knee. We're just going to flow here, straightening the right leg, lifting up the toes, finding some gentle stretch in the hamstrings. And then on your inhale, flow forward just like that cat cow. Lift your chest up. Let that left hip come forward, but don't jam it. Okay, so let's flow here for a minute. Inhale back. So exhale back. Inhale, flow forward. Just seeing where your hips are at. If you want to go deeper, you can always come up onto the back toes. Just tapping into whatever your body is saying right now. If there's a spot that feels really good, you just want to pull the hamstring back. stretching in that left hip flexor and right outer thigh in a moment. So take a few more breaths. Use your blocks if you need to. See if you can lengthen your spine as you come forward. A couple more breaths here. We're going to stay forward and take our hands to the inside of that left foot. Sorry, right foot. Do one more flow here and then we're going to beat forward. side of that right foot. You can be on blocks or not. I want you to turn your right toes out just slightly on an angle with your knee. Open up the hip a little bit. Tuck your tail and allow your body to sink a little bit deeper into that left hip just a bit. Now if this is good, stay here. If you feel like you're almost dragging that left knee slightly forward and then tucking the tail. We have a couple options here. We're just going to hold this deep hip flexor stretch. You're welcome to come down onto your block to get a little bit deeper. If that's too much, stay where you are or hold onto those blocks. If you want to go even deeper than that, you come to the floor. You also have the option to grab your back foot and pull it in if you're a little more flexible. See if you can release the, any tension in your jaw and your face. Anytime you need to move around, slow breaths in and out here. Sometimes I like to move from side to side. Do whatever feels nice. For the last couple breaths, you can sink a little bit more, releasing out from the midline, letting your spleen kind of relax. Releasing your head a bit. One more breath. Slowly gonna press up, press your hips back, come into that downward dog just for a moment. We're gonna switch sides, spread your fingers, bend your knees, wiggle it out. And then we're gonna step this left foot forward. If you wanna lift the left leg up first, or just step it forward between your hands. Come down to that right knee, you can double up your mat, use your blocks if you need to. We're going to flow here for a good minute. Straighten that left leg, lift up your toes, find a nice stretch in the hamstring. You can keep your spine really long as you do this, try not to round too much. Inhale, flow forward, opening up that right hip flexor a little bit. Move with your 
more breath. Exhale back. Think about this as the journey, not the destination. What we're feeling on this side is not necessarily what you'll be feeling on the other side. into the hips. We're going to stay for and bring both hands to the inside of this left foot in a moment. Take your final breath and then keep your body weight shifted forward. Take both hands or blocks to the inside of that left foot. Turn the left toe and knee out a little bit. Open the hips. You're going to get a nice strength on that left hip and the right hip flexor. Whatever position works for you, you're gonna be here for about a minute. Just slightly nice deep hold here. It takes about a minute for our muscles to actually relax, sometimes a minute and a half. Consciously think about releasing the muscles that you're gripping onto in the hip joint, in your shoulders, in your neck. Did that rotated version where you grab the back foot, reaching down to your forearm. Two more big breaths in and out. Take a couple breaths. We're going to lay down on our chest and find a nice shoulder stretch with a, a hip rotation in a moment. Come forward. You're going to lay down on your chest, straighten your legs behind you, and reach your left arm out to the side. Okay, so make sure it's in line with your left shoulder. You're going to look to the right, lift your right leg up behind you. And start to rotate your hips, leaning back. Spread the left fingers and press your palm into the floor. You don't want to go too far here, especially if you have any shoulder injuries. If your foot comes to the floor or not, don't worry about it. Just be mindful of how much rotation you're getting into here. You can lift your left hip, sorry, left uh, side of your head up off the floor here if you want to do that. You can rest a block under your head if you want. We're going to take six more breaths here. If you need to pull back a little bit, you can pull back. Think of rolling that left shoulder head back onto your back. Couple more breaths, we're gonna go right to the other side. Take your last breath here. On your exhale, slowly unwind. Come back to center for a moment. Take your hands underneath your forehead, just wiggle your butt left to right. the other side. Right arm reaches along the floor, parallel to your shoulder. Lift your left leg behind. You can bend the knee a little bit. Lean back for about a minute. Spread the right fingers. Press your hand into the floor. Come 
back to your breath. up the fingertips off the floor. You can lift it up your right ear off the floor. Releasing a little bit more. We'll five more breaths here. your pillows or your bolster. Take one more breath in. Then come back to center. Gently come back. Put your hands underneath you. Press yourself up. Give me one little downward dog or child's pose. We're going to set up for our last resting pose. If you want to grab onto your pillow and put it behind you. You can also just lie down on your back. We're going to come into a toddler's pose or a baddha panasana pleat together, knees wide. If you have very tight hips, you can straighten your legs a little bit more. You're going to sit up nice and tall. Start to roll back. Maybe start to walk your hands back. If you do lie on a bolster, put your hips in front of the bolster or the pillow. Make sure you have somewhere to rest your head. hands to the hip flexors, one to the belly in your hips, in the heart if you want to just release here. Let all the excess tension go from your body, anything you're holding on to, let your belly just expand. If you just want to straighten your legs and turn your palms up for Shavasana, just rest on your back here, restore. couple breaths, see if you can just melt into your mat, letting everything go. One more nice juicy breath. Slide your legs out in front of you, reach your arms up overhead, take a nice long stretch.